it was American or something because I remember seeing their funny little square hats. You know, yeah. Um, and I remember wanting one of those hats. They, not because they looked good, but because the people wearing them looked happy. They looked like adults. Like, like they knew where they were going. Like they had figured it out. And then I learned, either then or later, that what they had done to get that hat was get a master's degree, where we all are now. We won't, if you don't know what I've noticed, get any funny hats. <laughs> I really wanted my funny hat. <laughs> I don't, most of you know me, I am Garke, I am no longer a mediality student, and I attempt to keep to myself. I, this is not my natural habitat. And I don't know about you, but I do not feel like an adult yet. I do not feel ready to stand up here in front of all of you declaring that I know how the world works, that education has made me ready for the rest of life. I don't know that it has. I am unsure, despite being told countless things about how ready I should be. We've all been told countless things about how, how to behave, how to choose, how to be productive, how to get a job, how to present ourselves, how to just be ourselves, how to get friends, and how to study, as if there was a right way. And <laughs> in many ways, I was did that exact student the government wants. I was studious, hardworking, I didn't stop to take a break. Just went straight from high school, straight from bachelor's, straight from master's, and now ready to pay taxes. Um, and I don't think they expect that students are wearing hoodie and red locks. And I doubt most of my friends were, were here today were what the government expected that students to look like either. Many would not get in with the current grade requirements on media library. And they got out of here with phenomenal grades, all of them. And while that is in part a testament to the model we use here, I think it's also in part because the ideal student is not studious, efficient, or fast. What we have learned here above all else is how to tackle problems, how to be critical and curious. And that takes time, both learning it and the act of doing it. We will not solve problems with easy solutions when the problems are not easy. I went from a shy, rainy kid who sat in the back, standing up here. I used to bloody stutter and I stand up here. I did not have many friends in high school and now my friends made me stand up here. None of those were easy problems and they all took time. We are now masters of science, at least I some of you might vary a little bit, but generally we should all be messing with science, I think. Um, and science, as a word, conjures up images of laboratories and white coats, of physics professors and chemists, mathematicians and biologists, of people researching the foundations of the world. In that sense, I didn't do any science at all. I, no pouring one liquid into another, no calculating the orbits of the stars, not even, not even split a single atom. Instead, I wrote programs and I wrote stories. I make pixels move around on a screen and hope that eventually people found meaning inside them. But we did do science. Because science doesn't mean fact. It's not physics or astronomy, chemistry or biology, data or technology. The word science from its Latin roots means to know, it's knowledge. Being scientific means not natural but rigorous. It means not truth but understanding. You can know anything. What we graduate here today is our minds. It's the quality of our thoughts and what they bring. And contrary to our current Minister of Education, I am unsure that we could ever find a quantifiable measurement for that quality. The quality of your mind, of your knowledge, is your own. It is, to everyone else here, unknowable. I'm not sure I know my own. And maybe we're not supposed to yet. We are, after all, fairly new at this. We are new to the world, to life, new to ourselves. What we will become now is uncertain. I stand here without an immediate job, without knowing how my future will shake out. But university says we're done. We are now supposedly <laughs> masters of our field. If that title means I'm supposed to know, then university failed. But I don't think so. Studying was never about making us ready for life as much as they all tell us that. Studying was not about the learning, because we are still learning. 
just because we're done studying doesn't mean we should stop learning. We started learning before we were students, and we should keep learning after. It would be, frankly, dangerous not to. But then, what, what did it mean to be a student? I liked being a student. It felt safe. We can hide as students. We can excuse our lack of experience, our lack of sage advice. We can assume ignorance. We could learn in a safe environment and fail at nauseam because we need it to sometimes. However, we must accept now, as we probably should have earlier, that it is no safer than anything else. If we assume that getting a funny square hat made us understand the capital T truth, then we must admit now that we were wrong. And if that's true, then there's a difference between where we are now and where we are going. Of course, we are wiser. Of course, we are more certain. Of course, we can act in part. But I'm unsure we'll ever get there. And that's OK, even if we don't get to wear the funny hats. Some might say we're only now entering the world, but really, we have already always been a part of it. There's no secret formula to becoming an adult, nor is there any hidden spell that will make us a master of science, nor any clever curse that bound us in ignorant youth. We are no longer students, but I think that matters less than my brain tells me it does. Still plenty of studying to do, plenty of things to learn, plenty of problems to tackle. And we know now what it means to tackle a problem. So this, like any other, we will deal with. Because we are, after all, pretty good at it. But of course, we will always wish we could have learned it a little earlier. Thank you.